If we ask you to name the oldest artifact you know or are aware of, what could it be? Windows 95? Push button cell phones? <laughs> no. Think harder. There are things older than that. What are they? Gramophone? Typewriter? Hmm, no. Maybe something you have seen or heard about? Taj Mahal? Think. Or is it Mohinjo-daro? Hmm, no. Something even older than that. Something older than that? Only if we had the time machine to go back to the time of dinosaurs. Dinosaurs! That's it! Dinosaur fossils! There couldn't be anything older than that, right? No, not really. But the facts suggest there is the most beautiful and precious of all. Diamonds. Uh -huh. Diamonds are billions of years old. In some cases, more than 3 billion years old. In fact, the evidence suggests that the youngest diamond in the world is about 900 million years old. And the oldest diamond is 3.2 billion years old. So, in short, diamonds are older than dinosaurs. Do you know the word diamond comes from the Greek word adamus, which in turn means indestructible. No wonder diamonds are considered precious everywhere, as it signifies power, glamour and beauty. In fact, many ancient cultures believed that diamonds gave the wearer strength and courage during battle. And some kings wore diamonds on their armour as they rode into battle. Remarkable, isn't it? Now, you must be wondering how and where diamonds come from. Well, diamonds are nothing but carbon atoms that get crystallised in molten rock under crushing pressures and intense heat near the Earth's core. Then, through years of volcanic activities, they are pushed at the surface to set over the kimberlite pipes. The places where these kimberlite pipes are found are called diamond mines. Many centuries ago, India was the only known source of diamonds around the world. In fact, some of the most famous and legendary diamonds like the Kohinoor, the Hope Diamond and the Regent Diamond were recovered from the mines near the fortress city of Golconda. India's domination lasted until the 1720s when Brazil entered the fray and became the world's dominant diamond producer. A title they held for little more than a century until the great diamond rush of Africa began. The one you're looking at is Juaneng Diamond Mine, located in a southern African country, Botswana. Partly owned by De Beers Group of Companies, this is one of the largest diamond mines in the world. You'll be left sputtering in astonishment if we tell you this mine was first discovered by one of the smallest creatures in the world, termites, also known as white ants. In 1972, geologists found the presence of kimberlite in one of the termite mounds. They followed these white ants to the diamond mine and the rest is history. Since then, this diamond mine has been the richest source of diamonds. Coming with a promise of being beautiful and rare, 
all Forever Mark diamonds are sourced from a select few mines only, and Zhuaneng Mine is one of them. To extract these diamonds, the machines and trucks that are used are magnanimous in size. These trucks are so huge that even the tire of the truck is bigger than a man six feet tall. Hard to believe? Check it out for yourself. At the interview, they told us that there are big machines that we are going to be taught how to drive them. But I didn't know how big they are. But when I came here, to my surprise, I found out they are very, very huge. It's bigger than the house. After extraction, these kimberlites are taken to the treatment plant where the diamonds are refined and freed from the kimberlite rock. These rough batches of diamonds are then sent to be crafted into one of the world's most unique diamonds, a forever marked diamond. The diamonds that are sent for sorting are batches of mixed quality rough diamonds. So, the experts carefully sort the potential forever marked diamonds from the other diamonds according to their natural characteristics, that is, looking at their colour, carrot and shape. They check, recheck and only after carefully sorting all diamonds, very few of the rough diamonds are selected to become a forever mark. The remaining diamonds are sent to be used in jewellery or to be used for other purposes. Other purposes? Yes, you've heard it right. Diamonds have other uses besides jewellery. Statistics say most of the world's diamonds are not suitable for jewellery and go towards industrial uses like abrasion, speaker domes and even in windows. Next time you fly in a plane, don't forget to take a closer look at the window. If you ever get some time from admiring the aerial view. The windows in the airplanes are covered with thin diamond membranes that reflect X-rays and other harmful rays. Combined with a diamond's optical and thermal properties, the window is made to withstand bird strikes and other physical stresses encountered during the flight. Wonderful, isn't it? Well, getting back to the journey of a forever marked diamond. After sorting, the next halt is at cutting and polishing houses. Choosing where to mark and cut is always the critical decision that requires years of experience and a deep expertise in diamonds. But with technology at hand, nothing seems difficult. The computer scans the rough diamonds and evaluates how a diamond can get cut, helping polishers to craft the diamond easily. Since diamonds are the hardest substance in the world, only a diamond can be used to mechanically cut another diamond. Even while polishing the diamond, only diamond powder and oil can be used to polish the diamonds. The polisher's job is to take the rough and create a perfectly cut diamond with the brightest spark. It takes a skilled eye, a steady hand and great expertise to make a diamond matching our calibre. Talking about calibre and capacity, you must have heard about the double-decker bus, haven't you? Extremely famous in London. And you can also spot a few of them moving around in the lanes of Mumbai. But why are we talking about this? Well, to give you an idea of what rare means. If we consider every gem quality diamond that has ever been cut and polished, they would all fit in a double-decker bus with room to spare. The next step is to check for any flaws or imperfections that will impact its beauty. So, the experts at our Diamond Institute examine each diamond going beyond the four C's of cut, colour, clarity and carrot. 
They look at the symmetry of the girdle, the point of each culet and focus on each facet of the diamond. After examination, they create a report that features an accurate blueprint of the four C's of each diamond and a unique identification number, assuring the customer that the diamond is of high quality and craftsmanship. Now, you must be thinking, what is unique identification number? Unique identification number is inscribed on every forever marked diamond as proof of its authenticity and a guarantee that it is 100% natural and genuine. It is this number that acts as proof that the diamond is beautiful, rare and responsibly sourced. Less than 1% of the world's diamonds get this inscription, making forever marked diamonds some of the rarest diamonds in the world. While the code on other diamonds can be seen with the naked eye, the inscription of a forever marked diamond is so minute, so small, that it is impossible to see it even with a regular magnifying glass. Want to know how small? Well, this unique number is 1 twentieth of a micron deep, which equals to 1 five thousandth the depth of a human hair. This number is inscribed on the diamond table using a proprietary technology. The forever mark inscription has been developed so it does not affect the internal quality of the diamond. The inscription can only be seen with our forever mark viewer which offers superb magnification and clarity. After inscription, the diamond is then sent to the design and innovation team to convert the diamond into groundbreaking jewellery designs that reveal the full brilliance of a diamond. The enduring history of each diamond makes it the most evocative and powerful way to immortalize life's great promises. Promises that can never be broken. Promises that last forever.